power in the late game. How do you do that better than on Twitch? And the mid-game pressure that the Blade of the Ruin King Twitch, you just finish that item and you just come in and get those ambush picks in the mid lane. That looked like a super potent ignite because it was a double application of ignite. Now Insects oh, going in. Oh, he lands it. Is the Tempest going to be there? There it is. Oh my goodness. That Polymorph was out of control. And the Aqua Prison. The scary thing is that with Dr. Mundo, that time is actually sent back. It's more of a late game comp than before, but Nami's looking for the pick. Oh, Charm doesn't actually land here as well as the ambush has come through. The Contaminate is going to be there. There's the Wild Growth as Insect comes in. Nami contaminates for the kill. And it all looks like gonna have three items. So yes, you set the timings back so fast by taking that tick as we might see an all-in. Yeah, there's the tidal wave coming through as well. Name trying to ambush out, but he gets spotted by the living artillery. There's the absolute zero and absolutely zero places for Name to go as he falls down. Godlike coming through, but he takes half of his health instantly. Deft is already I believe since he's entered lane has hit at least 90% of that ability. Maybe now Adius Sonic Wave lands here as well. Death gets kicked back under the turret. He's gonna die. Insect might pay for it as well as the Akathian surprise is gonna find him, but no, not this time as Name. He's gonna continue fine. He's going, he's ready to go. He's got AoE utility in his ult. In the bottom, we're seeing another trade. Oh, Name actually gets forced to flash out of the way here. There's the tidal wave. The exhaust comes through as well as the living up uh, artilleries are just hitting so easily. As Zero, he's gonna take one himself. Clear up. Just throws out that Ice Blast and it just looks too easy for EDG sometimes. It does, but is in effect, at least at the moment, as Conwest right at the front. Yeah, and you can see him running around here. Oh, Aqua Prison lands. Insect is most definitely dead. Spirit Rush. Deft is going to be the focus here as well, but look at all of the shields coming through the healing. He does finally go down as Name picks up the kill. Just auto attacking from the back line. A Cathian surprise is in the end going to finish him off as Korn flashes over the Aqua Prison, misses the charm. Mako down very low. So is Korn completely out of mana. Korn picks up Mako and Royal Club. They the top laners sort of forgot that there's much physical damage going on at all this game. As Insect, he's going to safeguard his way out of here. Doesn't get hit by the Voidus. There's the flash. As Insect gets flashed on by Def, that is a big cooldown now. Down though, full guy probably on the side of Royal Club with how EDG are positioned in this pit. But the fight breaks out. Corn takes so much damage. Clear up. He's tanking Name from the backside, and Name's getting so much damage down with this Rattata attack. Corn. He lands the charm, but he's gonna go down as Def getting so much damage in this fight. Name. He's still at full health as he's racing after these members, but no, it gets turned around on. And EDG, they pick it up in the end. Oh, no, oh, when he's as tanky as he is, that's always a possibility. The living artillery hits on Namek and they've got position. Here comes the engage. Yeah, that's actually the, the flash into the twisted advances. Koro now finds position in the front of the fight. Death running so incredibly quickly. And is it going to be the Cogmore as The Orb of Deception does a whole lot of work. Godlike falls down. Namek now might be caught off to the side as Aqua Prison doesn't quite find him. Korn is most definitely dead. The double kill. For it's been well answered so far from Star Hall Royal Club. Yeah, Voidus uh -oh. comes through here as well. Godlike has to pop the Ventral Maelstrom. Star on Rockhop, can they make it in time to save the tree? No, they can't. Deft is there. Name, though, he's exploding him with his ultimate, but just gets ripped apart by Pawn. There's the absolute zero for the explosion. And Deft is so stupid on this Cogmore. It is insane. Cogmore. Triple kill relatively easily there as Korn, he's relegated to inside his own base and Koro is like a bloodhound looking for this Ari. Korn is going oh, for the kill. Trying to take down Deft, he doesn't manage to take him down. The shield was beautifully timed from Pawn. This is going to be the top lane inhibitor turret. Maybe even the game as it was a clean ace coming through for EDG. Pawn tanking things up like nobody's business. A bit of a swags on you at the same time. And EDG going to take down this first game in emphatic fashion. 14,000 gold is the lead. And EDG say, yep, Nama, you can stay on Royal Club. That was